Let's consider the classic example of a tuning fork. When we strike it with a hammer, the fork starts to vibrate. Now, if we bring another tuning fork, fork 2, which has the same natural frequency as that of fork 1, the fork 2 starts vibrating due to the influence of fork 1. This phenomena of making a body vibrate with its natural frequency under the influence of another vibrating body with the same frequency is known as resonance. Another simple example we observe often is the vibration of some objects. If the motor is running at a high speed, it starts to vibrate vigorously. If the frequency of the vibrating motor matches or even comes close to the natural frequency of the refrigerator, the refrigerator will start vibrating. This is resonance. It is used advantageously in most of the wind-driven instruments like flute, saxophone, etc. And it can also be detrimental if we consider the case of earthquakes where the building resonates with earthquake frequency and collapse. Every sound we hear, striking, hitting, screeching, is because of resonance and its effects. Resonance is quite opposite to damping. Resonance increases the amplitude of vibrating body, whereas damping tries to decrease it. This is all about resonance. Now, we look at the sharpness of resonance. Sharpness of resonance is the factor which tells us how swiftly the energy of the oscillating system decays. Every object resonates at maximum amplitude at some particular frequency. We call this as resonant frequency. If the frequency changes slightly from this value and if we observe the amplitude of oscillations decreasing drastically, then we can say resonance is sharp. When we plot the graph of forcing frequency which the tuning fork 1 produced versus the amplitude of vibration, we can observe the sharpness of resonance. It conveys where the resonance will be at maximum. We know that resonance increases the amplitude of oscillating body and damping decreases the amplitude. Under no damping condition, the resonance will be very sharp. But as all the vibrations encounter some amount of damping, the sharpness will be reduced. If the damping is large, we get a flat resonance. So, at high damping, we have flat resonance and at low damping, we have sharp resonance. This is all about resonance and sharpness. To sum up, we learnt about resonance, its applications, sharpness of resonance and how damping has an effect on sharpness. In the next video, we look at forced oscillations. See you there.